Hey you guys, it's Emmy and Cream, and um, we had to ditch the pants, it's too hot in here. <laughs> oh yes! We get to ruin Sarah's life even more. Stay in here for a minute. I'm gonna radio down and find out what you're doing. Don't touch anything. Hey. You have to be tough, Sarah. Everything is harder now, but you have to be tough to survive. My dad's never hit me before. <laughs> Even when I was really bad. <laughs> he never hit me. Troy would have been way worse. Your dad had to do it. Carver made him. So, in a weird way, Carver's the one that hit you, not your dad. He didn't want to do it, Sarah. Carver made him. He's the bad guy, not your dad. I guess so. Carver hit me super hard, because it still hurts like crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it looked like it. I don't know why people have to be so mean. Like, even when I'm really mad, I still don't want to hurt anyone. Don't mess this up. Reggie! Yeah, I get it. Reggie's in charge here, okay? Listen to him carefully. Yep, no problem, Tavia. Yep, no problem. Okay, we gotta do a good job, guys. The camp is counting on us. Come on, I'll show you what to do. It's super easy. Pick up a pair of those shears. Come on, dipshit. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we're picking these berries, right? Just pick them, put them in the basket. Simple. While you're at it, if you see any dead branches, take those shears and cut them off and stack them neatly for composting. Got it? Yep. Got it. I don't know if dipshit understands. But I got you, Reggie. Hey, so... Is she gonna be okay? Because what no. happened down there? That was straight fucked up. I don't want her freaking out and getting me in trouble. She's a baby. There's no helping her. Whoa, that's harsh, kid. I think if Bill did that to me, I'd cry a little too. Look, Bill's had yeah, but the thing the is that, that like, those guys escape, so I gotta concentrate on my work. Here's the thing: she's been coddled to the point where she can't function. That was awkward. I won't do that again. I'm gonna go work now. Cool. At least we're on the same page about this. But yeah, seriously, Sarah is like, her dad has babied her way too much. Like, she is such a liability. We gotta do our own work. We gotta do this for us and for Reggie. Because otherwise, nothing's going to get done. Oh, shit. Oh, no. What? What did you do? These are only half done. Are those live branches? Clementine, I asked you to help her. Just checking in. I had to do Tell my own... New girls are working out. Um... Reggie. Reggie. Yeah, Bill. Hey. What the fuck happened in here? Look, Bill, they're new, and me with my arm, it's just not the easy... I just have... I have one shut arm. Shut up, so shut up. Shut the fuck up. You better have an explanation for this. And Sarah's I mean an idiot. Now. Bill, please, just... Sounds just... like you were about to give me an excuse when I asked for an explanation. We'll get it done. Just give us some more time. We'll just... Time's up, Reggie. You had a task, and you didn't get it done. Looks to me like you failed. Sarah, she didn't understand. No, nah, this ain't your fault. We talked about this, That's Reggie. her fault. Didn't we? 
But you just don't get it, do you? Get what? I... I... Why don't you girls wait outside? Reggie and I have a few things to talk about. Mom? Thanks for the help. Mom? Dinner was delicious. Sarah, you're the reason why Reggie's getting yelled at. Are you okay? I no, gave no, you no, plenty no, of no, chances. Please, Bill. No, 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 please. Weakness, incompetence. Sarah, it that happened us because all of you. Risk. And it won't be tolerated. You think about that the next time you're asked to do something. Get downstairs. Bonnie's got some stuff for you to do. Go! Good. <laughs> That's cool. I wish he would, like... God, she's irritating. Ooh, we got an achievement. Oh, hey. So, they want you to run some supplies out to the guys working at the expansion? Real simple, just take this over to them. That jacket looks real nice. I don't know what Tavia's talking about. What's wrong? I don't know what you're talking about either, because right? I like it. You look like you've seen a ghost. Reggie. Reggie's dead. What? What are you talking about? Carver killed him. He pushed him off the roof. Maybe... Maybe it was just an accident. Listen to me. Take this stuff out to those guys and come straight back. Just be safe, okay? Now ain't the time to be calling attention to yourself. I need to go find out what happened. Hey, Troy, Clem's just gonna take them boys some nails. All right. Go on. Hey, that ain't your concern. Get that stuff over to them boys. Just follow them cables. If it's so goddamn important, get your fucking hands off you me! You ain't gonna force me to do this bullshit. I said, get your hands off me. Or what? You gonna go tail on me? I'm trying to help you, asshole. Reggie's dead. Carver killed him. What? You sure? Who did you? She's at crackers for dessert. Thank <laughs> you. 
Get up. Get out of there. Come on. Make me save your ass. Jesus. What was I supposed to do? Oh, thank God you're okay. All right, enough mushy shit. You get back inside right fucking now. I'm sure they got shit for you to do in there. Now! Think I'm fucking around? Now I gotta sit down here and babysit you assholes. Can't do a simple fucking patch job without me here cracking the whip? Yeah, that's crap. You drew blood. Come all this way. This is this is the welcome I get. What are you doing here? All right, listen, we ain't got much time. Okay, I followed y'all here best I could. I haven't had a night's rest since y'all got nabbed. And, well, it's the first chance I got to talk to somebody. <laughs> They're everywhere. Okay, they got guards watching everything. Shh, shh. There's a herd of lurkers just south of us. It's bigger than I ever seen around these parts. Carver mentioned that. Said he hopes it passes us. Yeah, I heard folks talking about that, but that ain't so. Okay, it's gonna hit this place. I know it is. Now, I don't know when, but it's coming and it's gonna be soon. See, I've been looking for places to, to get y'all free, but I haven't been able to find anything yet. I have to go. Troy will be looking for me. Uh, what? Troy, he's expecting me back. Oh, oh, yeah, right, right. Hey, okay. Just, I love you, bro. Just but one second. Look, I, I don't want to get hollered at. I just need a plan. No way to get you and, and everyone. Luke? Oh, sorry, sorry, shit. Okay, Troy ain't gonna like you being late. Listen, Clem, I need you to meet me here tomorrow about this time. Cause I, I need you to get me one of those radios, okay? Do you think you can do that? Just just one of those walkie-talkies. I just need to be able to tell you know. what's going on with them guards. You know, I'll figure out the schedule the patrols are on. I mean, they're they're all over the place, but I can keep an eye on them for y'all from out here. Look, we ain't gonna be able to shoot our way out of here, so we gotta be careful. I'm not sure I can. I think they're really strict about that stuff. Well, you gotta try, Clem, okay? It's really important that I get one of those. Remember, you meet me here tomorrow. I'll try and be here around this time, but if I ain't, just wait as long as you can, because I really need one of those radios. And just let everybody know I'm all right, okay? I'm worried they, uh... Clementine, get out where I can see you. Go on, get out of here. All right, great. We're going to get yelled at because of this dipstick. The hell were you doing? Huh? I was hiding from walkers. Don't go in there, you hear me? That is off fucking limits to you. Bill Radio. Oh, I didn't know. Wants to work with you up in his office. So get on up there, now. Okay, I'm sorry. He told me to get inside. So I went inside. <laughs> Sneaky mongering. Rebecca! She's a strong woman, surrounded by weak men. I ain't letting my kid get raised around that. Get in here. You make sure you tell me the truth when you're sitting where you are, and you won't end up over in that chair. Now, you might not believe this after what happened earlier, but I liked Reggie. He was a funny guy. He kept things light. You need folks like that. It's easy to let depression sink in during times like this. But he was weak. And I don't mean just because he was maimed. That wasn't his problem. He was weak of will and weak of character. And we can't have that around here. Not anymore. Not with what we got at stake. You're a murderer. You can try and call it something else, 
But I know what it is. What it really is. Listen, Clementine. It ain't murder. You see, Reggie put us at risk with his incompetence. He's had a string of screw-ups lately. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. It's one of the tough decisions that a weaker person couldn't make. It's why it falls to people like us to lead them to safety. You understand? Well, I wish it was different, I do. But they are weak, and we are strong. That's why it's our responsibility to shepherd the flock, to keep them safe. It's their nature to follow, not to lead. You know what I wish? What's that, honey? I wish Kenny had killed you. And there's all the proof I need right there. You think anyone out there'd have the balls to say something like that? There's no way you could have lasted this long otherwise. Probably not. I realized it back in that cabin. You were scared. But you looked me straight in the eye. You kept your nerve. That's what we need. If we're gonna get through this, the next generation has to be stronger than the last to lead us out of this. Kids like you, raised the right way. The way my child will be raised. It ain't this herd that keeps me up at night. We can handle that. It's not knowing if I got anyone to hand all this off to. But I ain't worried about that anymore. All right, now. Well, you there? Yeah, I'm here. The loading bay door is jacked. Troy really knocked the shit out of it. How bad is it? Rails are tweaked so it won't shut all the way. I don't think it's an emergency or anything, but it's something Stan should take a look at when he can. I'll get him on it. Out. That fucking idiot. Heard on its way, and he puts a goddamn ding in my door. Go on back out to the yard. It's almost supper time. I don't want to start eating crackers again <laughs> before checking. Because we all know what happened this morning. I don't know what that son of a bitch is going to do next. So you want to ring the dinner bell for a herd of walkers to show up? How is that better? Because this place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us. And that's when we go. It's our opening. We just gotta figure out a way to draw him to us. Your friend here wants to get us killed by lurkers before Bill can do it. What is it with what? you? That's what it sounds like to me. No! Maybe that's not what he's saying, but it does sound dangerous. Sound draws walkers. There was this girl, Molly. She used bells to control where they moved. Yeah, that's right. She had them running all over Crawford. We just need something loud. Well, unless you've got a megaphone tucked in your pocket, it doesn't help us much now. I still vote we get Luke I don't care the radio about and Luke's plan. Oh, come on. You know about Luke? He flagged us down when Troy wasn't looking. Told us his plan. Mentioned he talked to you. If Luke can tell us what's going on with the guards, we can use that to pick a good time to escape. That seems reasonable. Who knows when that'll be? Look, Clem had it right. Exactly. We loud to get their attention. The PA system Carver is always using is quite loud. There's some speakers outside the building, pointed toward the parking lot. I saw them when we were walking out to the work. Troy's always standing next to one of them. I saw the controls. They're in Carver's office. She's right. It's all controlled in Bill's office. There's a switch in there that'll turn them on. How do you know that? I used to make a lot of the announcements back in the day. I had it flipped on once. Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time to hear it. It was plenty loud, though. That's perfect. We just gotta get into his office. Why didn't you say something sooner? Because it doesn't change anything. This isn't a discussion about how to do it. It's a discussion about whether it's stupid. And it's still stupid. The sensible thing is to get Luke the radio... Just like you stupid? Oh, uh -huh. sorry. I'm like super sassy You're right real now. difficult to deal with sometimes. Penny. No, that's all right. You ain't exactly a peach either. We need to get out of here soon. And the herd is right there. I'd rather take my chances with them than Carver. Atta girl. Look, it doesn't have to be mutually exclusive. It's true. Getting Luke the radio is helpful whatever we end up doing. It doesn't hurt to have more information. You know what? 
That's Fine. true. I can get behind that. Okay, so we get that turd radio. He keeps us posted on the herd's movement. We fire up the PA uh -huh. thing and bring the walkers to roll over this place. And then what? Get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. We improvise. Then that's not a plan. You don't plan to improvise. I figured out what your problem is. Uh -huh. You don't think this stuff through. If the end of the plan is just to stroll through a herd of walkers, then you should know from the jump there's no way it's ever going to work. Actually, uh -huh. I do it all the time. First words I ever hear you say, and it's just some crazy, stupid shit. Hush. What do you mean exactly? When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. They can't tell you from one of them. Now I don't know who's crazier. Trust me. I've walked through herds before. You did it. It works. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. Lee figured that out. What? It's how we got out of the marsh house. Lee covered me and we walked right through. Really? Holy shit. Oh, good one, Lee. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get that stupid radio. We still have to find a way to get in the stock room. I got a plan for that, too. Come on, kid. Gonna need your help. Where the hell did she come from? We just need to use the winch. She can just climb up from there. Then, just drop into one of the skylights over the stock room. There are shelves and stuff for you to land on, so you probably won't fall to your death. Great. That thing breaks all the time. Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Come on, up and at him. Don't push her, Kenny. She's our best bet. I mean that, Clem. Now or never, I guess. That's my girl. Let's do it. We gotta get that rope down. Mike, you wanna boost her up? Come on, kid. I mean, in any way, like, they're, like, hauling... Don't let like, go. Like, you. really heavy... Super heavy bags of, um... Mulch. We're probably lighter than one of those big bags of, bul of mulch. I mean, she's probably lighter than that. Okay, so I just made the best pickup line ever. Um, girl, you're so sweet. You make regular Coke seem sugar-free. But they're no idiots either. They see you not in your bunk. We're all done. Shit, he's coming back. I gotta let you go. I can't stand here. Grab something. We're in trouble. <laughs> I am like just so proud <laughs> for my for the line that I just told my girl. Is this one it? Oh sweet, this is the one. Haha. <laughs> It's really unnerving. 
I know what you mean. You figure we'd be used to it by now. I wouldn't figure that. We never got used to a light buzzing or anything. A little different when it's dead human beings walking around. I'll give you that one. So what are you doing tomorrow? Bill wants me to start getting this bay door fixed. Is that why you're down there? Yep. What happened to it again? Troy backed into it when we brought the prisoners, the, the new people in. See, it's hard not to call them prisoners. <laughs> anyway, I'm looking at it now. I don't think we have what we need. Jesus, really? We repurposed a lot of shit to get this place built. I can't say for sure if we even had the materials before we started expanding. I don't know about you, but it seems like we really shouldn't be doing this yet. Shouldn't we just wait until we need more space to make more space? I don't know, Hank. Bill's got a plan. Look, let's say we call it for now. We'll talk later. Alright, talk to you later. I don't know how to do this part. Out. Out. I don't know how to do this then. Ooh, we are like the sneakiest Mongolian ever! You can't be smoking back <gasps> here. Vince, come on. Don't give me that. If Bill smells a whiff of smoke back here, he'll flip. What are you thinking? You know what? I'm just gonna tell him. I'm not letting someone else get blamed for this. That's bullshit. Vince! Vince, come on! Vince! Get him? Okay, jump down. I got you. Oh, okay. Oh, wrong one. Wrong way. There you go. We best get in bed. Troy will be back. I just the wrong stick. Well? Got him. Got him. We got this. Everybody stay where you are. No need draw on suspicion. That was so cool. Thank you, Clem. Well, no shit, idiot. I told you you probably wouldn't die. <laughs> I'm so nice job. <laughs> Thanks. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, get some rest. I'll make an effort. I thought about Duck today, about his dumb little face. First things that come to mind are always the dumb things he was doing. Kid was always oh, yeah. running Duck in was circles. Kinda stupid, Every but... damn place he went, he just run. He couldn't stop him. Makes it harder to remember he was a good boy. Well, he was long day pretty. tomorrow. One long day. So I'm like counting up in my head like how many days it's been. Um. Alright, you know what? We're gonna stop it. There we go. Alright, there we go. So we don't go ridiculously over like in every other episode. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, um, I'm trying to count like how many days it's like really been this game so far. And it's only around maybe day 9 or 10 now. Since like after the, uh, the whole, um, you know, 16 months later thing happened. <coughs> but yeah. So far, this game has only been, like, it hasn't even been two weeks into their lives. Um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of point that out, that, like, how in the their first one, it had been quite a while. Like, it had been, like, a few months. But, yeah. Um, I'm going to end this one here. 
Uh, like and favorite if you enjoyed, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next episode of this. Alright, bye!